Hello and welcome to another one of my tutorials about Jimp. And today we are going to be retouching faces or just retouching any picture, <coughs> namely Chuck Norris. So open up Jimp. I really don't understand uh, why this object doc doesn't show. It just looks like a leopard one and my mouse also has a windows with a blue highlight around it it's really uh just like a mac one it's black with a white outline apparently it just doesn't show though so i'm waiting for jump to open my computer is actually getting pretty slow now it's only two years old but still so uh open an image of your favorite picture i'm going to be doing chuck norris And I have it saved as Chuck Norris, JPEG. Alright, so I'm going to make this window bigger so you guys can see better on that tiny YouTube screen you're watching on. Alright, and zoom in at 200%. That's good. Because we won't be retouching anything below his face. So, to start off, I'm going to show you how you can ap apply filters to the image. So, make a new layer and we'll name this filters and so like um, change this layer mode to color okay and I oh yes here are the tool options okay <clears throat> so then take your bucket fill and choose a sepia like color so like right here it's good then just fill it in no that's a bit too yellow for sepia oh, I'm trying to find a good color here it takes a while, but once you find a good color for sepia, way too yellow. There we go. That's a pretty good sepia. <coughs> it will end up looking like that. You can also make it look black and white just by selecting like a lighter gray. And that looks pretty good as in black and white. But for now, we are just going to be retouching his face. So on this filters layer, <coughs> select a black paintbrush and then just kind oh whoops this is on the color layer isn't it I am just going to make a new layer this will be under shadow dot and then just kind of paintbrush around his eyes almost like those uh, football things to block out light and there we go it doesn't matter, you do not have to be that precise about it. So then go filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and blur it at about 15. That works good. And so you see, this does not look very good now. What you want to do is you want to adjust the opacity of the image. And there you see we have made some very convincing looking eyeshadow. <coughs> we've just darkened up the skin around him. So now let's make some bloodshot eyes. So we'll name this bloodshottiness. Dot. Now we're probably going to need a smaller paintbrush. That's about good. And just select a nice red color. And go around his eyes like this. Okay, then go filters. Blur, Gushin Blur. <coughs> Sorry, I'm having to clear my throat quite a lot. And that leaves him with kind of glowy red eyes, which you could do, but if you want to make him look more realistic, just adjust the opacity of the image, and that'll make him have some very realistic looking bloodshot eyes. You can also do effects like making his lips blue or adding extra shading onto his face. And actually, if you're careful, you can adjust the tone of their clothes. For instance, if you were to color it over green, then his clothes would be green, but it takes a while. Otherwise, it just looks like his clothes are glowing, and that does not look that good. And so that is how you retouch faces. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And actually, there is a very good example that I will link in my YouTube description. And a person does it very quickly and much better than I did. I was just doing it for the purposes of saving time. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Check back for more.